Otherwise, I could just start putting points into thick skin. Because that's universal. Probably should have been pointing... Uh, jamming points into that right from the get-go, but whatever. Let's see. Do I have any category points? No. So yeah, it might be worth getting two-handed weapon stuff just for face roll areas. These passives, yes. Because yeah, too many actives is just a pain. Let's increase my beef. Still don't understand the movement mechanics in this. You just kind of teleport everywhere. Uh, so that's called auto exploring. So I can press the Z button. I can press the Z button and I will automatically walk until I see something. Be it loot or an enemy. And uh, if there's nothing, then I just go on a en masse teleportation spree and kill everything involved. Domination of the deceased. A contentious issue arises when it comes to time to breathe life into your gathered specimens. Do you raise them as lifeless drones, or do you bind the souls of the deceased within their vessels once more? There is much disagreement on this, but between the movements, various movements of necromancers, the Benegrind method of necromancy extols the torturous imprisonment of the souls as fundamental. The anguish generated by the captive spirit makes for much more effective undead thrall, they claim. The recently founded Trene, the recently founded Trene method, however, disagrees, claiming that allowing souls freedom not only results in more obedient slaves, less pro prone to rising up and slaughtering their masters, also causes your work to become marginally more acceptable to the unwashed masses. Sure, they'll still thrash you, drag you through town, and burn you at the stake if they get a chance. They'll feel ambivalent about it by thunder. Remember, when utilizing a runic circle, bend your new minions to your will. Make sure beforehand that every rune in the circle is enchanted properly and in no danger of fizzling out. The unthinkable happens. One of your thralls is freed from your control. Offer them goods or equipment in exchange for life. For your life. You and dead will kill their creator after receiving such an act of generosity. Huh. But yeah, by auto-exploring, I more or less just like zip through the entire world. And it looks like teleportation, but I'm actually just walking. Are these all undead? No, they're animals. There's a necromancer in the area. Whee. And a squid? Squid! Why am I fighting squid here? This is goofy. What is that? A dragon turtle. Who's thought dragon turtles would be cool? Squid. I'm just, I'm just like swimming through a lake, wrestling with squids and minotaurs and stuff. This is dumb. Oh, I actually took some damage there. Fancy that. Well, it didn't last long. Look around the rest of the area. Oh, well, you look impressive. Oh, it's an ancient dragon turtle. Not running away from me. That's not how this works. We. It looks like there's a buttload of loot in there. Interesting that this area, I think, is so dense. Oh. Chapter 1, the share tool. The share tool, who are they? Where do they come from? Where do they go? Where do they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Anyway. The mysteries surrounding the ancient race are almost infinite. What little scraps of information we have regarding them allude to a mighty world-spanning civilization, wielding power and magic unthinkable. Now, however, all that remains of them are forgotten. Windswept ruins and the tiniest minutiae of their technology sealed away and in the recluse, uh, studies of recluse sages. Does their mystery not call to your curious nature as it does mine, gentle reader? My quest has drawn me to the ancient, uh, the old forest. What is there there to be said about a place like the old forest? It's a forest and it's old. By its unimaginative moniker, you can guess how important this place is to the people of Durant, the only locals who commonly venture 
Under its bows are novice alchemists in search of ingredients, plus the odd hunter with his sights set low. However, the story of this old forest now takes a more interesting twist. Rumors are growing of trees roaming its depths, moving as you or I would. Some even claim they now possess the spark of sentience. The share tool were rumored to hold the power of animism. This is more mere coincidence. I want to get in this place. But let's go over here. Oh. Okay. This looks like a place I'm going to need to maybe care about. Judging by everything, some of these guys are kind of high level. Eh, some of them are 19, some of them are 34. We'll see how this goes. Okay, jagged crystal glows within a natural light. A scrap, a strap of cloth is wrapped around one end as a handle. Okay, so I'm against a level 33 troll, and I'm rolling it. Okay. My concerns are meaningless. Okay, there's a lot of... Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I'm going to sit right here, and I'm going to fight them one by one. I'm going to run away a little bit further. Because some of them have ranged attacks. And the easiest way to fight enemies with ranged attacks... ...is to not be seen. This is goofy. How can I do this? How am I not taking damage from these guys? Let's see, let's leave it. We might as well go through this. I was wondering why it was so laggy in here, and the answer is freaking because there's there's all these guys just roaming around inside. Okay, this is a little bit more concerning than I thought it was going to be. I should not have stepped out like that. Okay, resilient to the dwarves. Okay, note to self, do not step into these rooms under any circumstances, no matter how safe it looks. It's almost always just covered in rogues. Luckily, almost none of them have ranged attacks, seemingly. So, so far, so good. God, this is why I wish this game looked cool. Because, like, right now I'm effectively holding off a horde, whole horde by myself. And just beating them down with my, my axe. The music does not fit what's going on here. At all. How many of them are there? Okay, well, we got the silent blade. It's still pretty laggy. There's there's thieves everywhere. And minotaurs and some other things. And I guess I'm getting poisoned here a bit. Not let anybody warp out of here. Uh oh. Cause yeah, if I if if I walk into this room, I get surrounded. Then I start getting hit. And I I can handle these guys one by one, no matter what level they seem to be.
but I seem to have some trouble with everything else. Okay, no, yeah, fit it. Oh, there's still a dude. Okay, got them all. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be the last thing I do for, do for the night here. And then I really need to do at least a little bit of D and D stuff. Do I not have a pickaxe on me anymore? No, I do. Okay, good. Really? How does digging work? Because it doesn't look like I can get through there. Some walls you can't dig. So, there's no way to get into those items. Uh, get in and grab those items. I guess it's not that big of a deal. So, up. Okay, somebody here has a gun. And is causing me to explode repeatedly. I'm not sure who. I'm not sure what their deal is or where they are. Well, it looks like they have now since died. Oh, that's okay. Unfortunately, all of these are green. Okay. Some areas you have to dig a certain wall. The rest won't let you. Any idea which wall this would be? Oh, diggable. That's a freaking fire drake. Hi. That hurt. Why are there fire drakes in this hole? Let's see, is that diggable? That is not diggable. Okay, so it's probably the last one on the list. Yeah, right here. Well, at least the fire drakes are pretty killable. And they seem to also be the ones protecting the goodies. They also hurt. Pretty bad. Okay, I think I've leveled up. Yeah, I've leveled up. Let's keep putting it into HP for a while. Let's keep getting... Oh, I have no generic points to put in. Unfortunate. Let's increase my spell save. What is this? Unending Frenzy. Extra stamina with every death you cause. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm using a whole lot of stamina here. That's okay. Stop. You want a mess? What a mess. Ow. That was some mess. I hear some dragons. I'm feeling feeling some foes. I'm just gonna hang back here. I guess actually, no, I'm fine. I just really don't like it when they get behind me. So much easier to fight them one by one. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! So many enemies. So many enemies. The entire place is a monster zoo. This is why I want passives. Oh, I'm actually taking some damage here. Because passives let me just kind of like speed mode through everything. Minimal negatives, whoops. Like I said, I can pretty much handle everything, but the moment I get surrounded, I'm dead. Well, maybe not dead, but I start actually taking damage.
and it makes my life that much harder. What what level are all of these guys? They're like easily in their twenties, and I'm just slaughtering them in mass and getting like one exp one percent exp per. That's that's a bit rough. Okay, any of these diggable? That one is. But first, we must fight this guy. Okay, so if I get over here... Oops, there's another one. Okay, yep, that's diggable. What kind of dragon lurks in this wall? The answer is no, just gemstones. Sweet. Alan Dig is ready to use. I am thoroughly enjoying this goofy business. I was not expecting to be on a just giant fight spree through a castle with like loads of enemies just in here. Oh, hey, another door. It was too much to ask. I was like, oh man, there's like nothing in here. And the answer is nope. Oh boy. The one problem with me being in full murder mode and just like clicking through a lot of these enemies, I do have the tendency to just walk into extreme danger. I'm not reading item lore anymore. I'd like to, but there's just so many things. Ooh. I'm just gonna wait right here. I'll go down eventually. Leaving this zone is going to be an exercise in loot management. Like, good lord. The amount of stuff I'm just, like, picking up here is actually problematic. Okay. Regen's doing mostly fine. Let's turn it up a little bit. <laughs> 100 HP per turn regen, and I can use it pretty much constantly. Okay. It seems like most of them are greens, unfortunately. Wait, the door is diggable? Okay, that's amusing. Ooh, owie. Like I said, fighting... More than one at a time is a problem. Otherwise, my regen more or less just takes care of all of it. Look how many of these, like, assassins are just hanging out in here. Like, the amount of guys just locked in these rooms is hilarious. Okay, second one is diggable. This one. Hi, those are dragons. Frosty the snow dragon, never mind. Ooh. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna hang out over here. And at some point, they're gonna come say hi to me. Or not. I guess some of them just don't believe in coming to say hi. I guess I will have to come to them. Well, that's fine. Hello! Anyone want a piece of this extremely deadly dwarf? This extremely unkillable deadly dwarf. You poison him, he doesn't care. He just fights. He just, he keeps fighting. He doesn't stop fighting. That's just his, that's, that's his lot in life. It's just fighting. Send me, send, send dragons. I guess they're drakes. Yeah, they're all drakes. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter to him. More blood. Oh. That's diggable. 
Oh, what are you? Poison vine. Oh. I gotta dig it out from here. This is something else. Hi. That's a lot of dudes. Boom. The thing is, I heal so fast that I more or less get my... I get my regen move back as fast as they can breathe fire on me. I like... I cannot. I can level up. Probably should at some point. So how do we get into this last section here? There we go. Okay, should probably level up before I go further. Uh, let's see, more stat points. Let's keep increasing my HP. <laughs> this dwarf is a boat murdered survivor. <laughs> oh man, I haven't read that in ages. I should go back and read the whole thing. I wonder if I could just like read it out loud if anyone would care, probably. So, oh my god, hi. right here. They'll come to me when they feel like it. I'm actually really looking forward to playing uh, Dwarf Fortress in the Am I fighting back? I think I'm fighting back. Okay, yeah, they're all dead. I'm really looking forward to playing Dwarf Fortress in the next, uh, couple months. I realized that, like, I could play it whenever, but, like, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna play the Steam version. Hopefully it'll have, like, uh, Steam Workshop support. I don't know if it will, but, god, it would be so much better if it did. Whoops. Okay, what are these things? Forest trolls? This whole castle must smell atrocious. Oh. I didn't actually grab that. Okay, anything else? I think we're good. Nope. Always at least one or two ninjas. Okay, uh, inventory. So first and foremost, please let me use this and actually consume son of a butt. All right. Oh, this is going to be big and things. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna move most yellow and orange items to my inventory. I'm assuming those are gonna be the more, more interesting things that I should grab. And then I'll have to kind of sort of take a look but mostly ignore almost all of the rest of this stuff because I there's just so much. It's a club. Mace. I have no idea. I think... I don't know. I'm going to move it to my regular inventory. I don't care too much about the staff, though. Mana burning... Dwarven Steel Mace. Blunt and Deadly. It's a T3 weapon and does a ton of damage. Yeah, it looks like a number of these are actually starting to get good enough for me to want to use them. Some really good, like, great swords and stuff. Let's see, I don't care to replace my belt currently. But my gauntlets, they're okay. Looking for something that's T4. Unfortunately, chances of me finding one kind of not great. Ooh, but that's a that's a helmet. The nature's blessing, skin of many, an orange shield. 
Okay, Brass Lantern of the Zealot. Eh, it's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty good on rings. I was hoping for some more boots than this, but you know what? I think that's okay. And I see nothing else. Oh, main set, offset. I should look at that at some point. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. So are any of these good? Stormfront is... Two-handed. Damage is good, but not amazing. Okay, so this is a dagger. Chance to inflict damage reduction. Lightning arc to a second target. Chance to curse the target. Lightning arcane. Burst when hit. Melee hit. Inflict damage reduction. Damage arcane. It's okay. Let's see. Another dagger. Another dagger. Does have a life, life steal though, which is pretty good. Why are they all daggers? Like, why is all of the rad stuff daggers? I don't get it. Can someone can someone explain? Let's see. What about the crooked club? They were all assassins. You know what? Shit, you're right. Burst radius on crit, plus 20 physical. Chance of confusion. That's just tar target with acid. I mean, what I could do is grab, like, one of the swords of projection or something and just start chucking it around. Or I could actually grab one of these daggers because they're amazing. That one's got the life steal. This one doesn't do as much damage. It's tier two. Does this one have life steal? The answer is no. Light, fire, burn, burst radius on crit. Okay. I'm just gonna start transmogrifying. I like the spell blaze shard. I'm assuming there's no way to respec properly. I could also grab the crooked club. Or no, the crooked club wasn't even that amazing. What I'd probably want to use is the acidic dwarven steel mace. It honestly does more damage. But yeah, I could do like some kind of vampire setup with the Spellblade Shard if I wanted to. Oh, wasn't there a shield? Oh, right. There was. Uh, let's see. All kinds of armor. Well, you know what? Let's actually leave this zone first. And that'll sell all of these things. Oh! I have no idea how much money I have. Does it say anywhere? Is it under, under like, the character tab? I've killed almost a thousand things. I've got 1,320 gold. That's silly. So, what do we have? I have the forest. Well, I mean, it's massively better than what I have. Activate Talent Earth's Eyes. Eh, it's not obscenely good for what I'm doing, but it's a better helmet than the helmet that I have. The stinking iron helm that I've never replaced. Armor of Bloodletting. Has less life regen, but it has a larger healing mod. Bloodthirst. Oh, no. Talent Mastery Bloodthirst. Change of stats. Extra resistance. Not bad. It's heavy armor. 
What about Nature's Blessing? Life Regen's still less. Stun and Freeze Immunity. For Skin of Many. Extra max life. Gross, though. We also have Gorleth. Grants Telepathy Dragon. So I lose my damage bonuses. So as far as I can tell, the only real benefit of having this thing is... Uh, no, it does give me better armor, hardiness, and defense. But it comes at a damage minus. It does give me dragon telepathy. Is there a benefit to dragon? <laughs> what is dragon telepathy? And what is Talent Mastery? I want to look some of these things up, because I still don't know. Like, does it mean you learn new talents, or does it just increase? Oh, I see. Increases the effectiveness of it. Ah, dang. Oh, it says it gives you bonus damage based on defense? Oh, bonus physical damage equal to your armor. Okay, wearing that. Let's see, wow, gift, anti-magic spell save. Extra constitution. Oh. Lore found nature versus magic. Your arcane abilities have been interfered with. Isles a torn world, and the forces of nature can react strongly to the arcane energies that seek to manipulate them. Some items and areas are imbued with anti-magic, a natural energy that disrupts magical abilities. There are those who have learned to harness anti-magic into their own wild abilities, and who use them to hunt down and destroy those. You were a caster, it's a hostile world you're in. Huh. Interesting, so I, I should not wear that armor. I mean, honestly, my troll hide armor is pretty good still. We lose the bonus healing, though. But we do get a bunch of extra life regen. But I like the extra armor. Okay, well this is fine. I said I was going to stop after that last one, and I'm I was serious because it's way lo later than I thought it was going to be. I really like this game. It's kind of slow. Oh, telepathy just shows you where they are. Good to know. I I understand now. Uh, let's see, life regen. Why does it say negative four? I'm confused. Well, I look like a gross monstro monstrosity. We're putting this back on. Eh, maybe I'm not. Okay. What about this? All of these look kind of gross. I don't know what to think about it. Saving. Thanks for watching. Let's go do. Let's go do a little bit of art, maybe. Eh, no, I should probably go to bed and just do all that tomorrow. I I don't know. Yeah. At the very least, I should give my voice a break.